Hi everyone, we're starting a vlog. We are, uh, stop <laughs> for one second, please. We are starting a vlog today. We're gonna go get sushi today for lunch. Uh, I demanded it happen. No one's excited except for me, but I'm gonna have a nice lunch. And then Kiki cleaned the house already this morning, so we don't really have anything else on the agenda. Free day. I think Kiki's gonna draw a little bit and I'm gonna film some, some tuber videos that I've neglected and set ourselves up for a good week. Kind of a laid back weekend. We also got invited to go swimming, but I don't think Kiki will want to go. Shook his head. And I can't go without him. Because I can't swim. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. That's it. See you at sushi. Baby. Kiki is having a lovely day. We're on Mississippi in Portland, Oregon. At Uchu. Joe's here too, don't worry. Say hi to the vlog, Dad. Okay, <laughs> no one's feeling talkative. I'm playing Mario Kart, I'm busy. Okay. Pretty cool how all the businesses like fitted themselves out for outdoor dining. But I don't know what's gonna happen during the winter. Cause that's not gonna work. Round one with the keeks. Thanks if you guys get my What is this called, Dad? What? Uh, a bowl? No, the food. This? Yeah. Daddy Mama. Hell yeah. <laughs> to the gay gal. Queen. Hi, girlies and baileys and healies. Uh, girlies is gender neutral to me for sure. So, it's Monday. I do not feel like working this week, lads. I don't know what it is, but spiritually, it's not sitting right with me. I am actually thinking about snacks to have at home. Who is vegan out there and can recommend me some snacks? It's like so not how me and Kiki grocery shop is to think about snacks. And working from home, you know, like a girl is hungry. I'm not getting the office snacks that I used to in my past. I'm thinking fresh fruit, some olives, some nice almonds maybe. But like what else besides that? What else could I eat snack on that's pretty healthy besides like whole pieces of fruit? Do we have any visions? I like to do dates with peanut butter. It's one thing I usually have on lock. Let me know if you have any vegan snacks. Uh, something cool happened today. I actually got an email from Michelle Orange, who's the author of this memoir called Pure Flame out by FSG, one of my favorite publishers. I think this came out in 2021. Yep, this came out in 2021. So rare we see a cloth bound book anymore, am I right? She actually emailed me and was like, hey, I really like your series on book design. I think that's really interesting and something I think about a lot and I wish more publishers did. And I was like, oh my God, cool. Like a real author is reaching out to me. She's like, can I send you my book? I think you might be into it. I know you read a lot of fiction, but some of the nonfiction memoir that you've said you liked on your channel, I feel like you would vibe with my book. And I was like, hell yeah, what the hell? Is this real? Thank you for spending your energy speaking to me. And what a gorgeous cover. Again, we'd never see a cloth-bound book anymore. And I have to imagine this is more environmentally friendly than a jacket. Am I right? Has to be, because the embossing already happens and the foiling already happens on these books when you take out off the cover. And they get in the way! Michelle Orange, you said fuck a book cover, and I love that about you. So nice. The gold, the silver, the simple flame illustration. Clean, baby, we're going clean. Uh, can't wait to read it. Thank you again. God bless. <laughs> Spig. I mean, could you look more miserable than you just looked? God, someone wants his dad to come home. Uh, I'll update you on my reading a little bit later. I'm still working. <laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday, I'm taking a break from work. Can I set you here on a coffee cup? Nope, that's insane. 
I'm taking a break from work right now and I thought I would finally talk about what book I'm reading in the vlog. Imagine that, this, a reading vlog. I am reading Something New Under the Sun, which is an arc I got from NetGalley. I'm reading it on my Kindle. My good friend Jalen at the bar in the book clay case said it was like big brain, climate anxiety, energy, and also like a good plotty novel. And I was like, all right, that sounds cool. He gave it a five star review, okay? I think this book is longer than I thought it would be. The premise is essentially like a young Hollywood starlet is cast in a movie and it's like a near future, a near future setting of LA where the city's being like ravaged by climate change, everything's constantly on fire and it's so normalized and there's a water substitute because water has run out on the west coast. There's some nefarious vibes and side characters going on that I think have to do with the water and there's also a character who is like a middle-aged man who was the screenwriter for this movie and becomes this like childhood Lindsay Lohan-esque main movie star's um, assistant during the filming. I can't say I'm loving it so far but Jalen did say it's a slow burn so I'm waiting for the burn you know what I mean? I am interested in the idea of like near future dystopian climate fiction. It feels so surreal to be reading about it when we know it's coming. It feels insane. I feel like moving through the world without having crippling cl climate anxiety and like depression and grief is us just like compartmentalizing to the nth degree because there really is fucking nothing we can do. <laughs> Not to get crazy on you, but like I do think about the individual contribution action myth that capitalism has led us to believe. Like the campaign around plastic straws and everything being a, a diversion into what your individual contributions are to lessen your ecological impact when we're not holding the giant corporations who are, you know, contributing to 97% of all climate change worldwide accountable. So I don't know, I like this idea. I like this subsect of literature and I've always liked the little dystopian vibe. I think I might do a video on that soon. But anyway, that's what I'm reading. I'm not like loving it. It's not like inspiring me to stay up late, but I am doing like a chapter a night, you know, like 30 minutes of reading. Therefore, it's taking me like a whole week to read a book, <laughs> which I think is fine. I need to calm down. I feel calm down this summer. I don't feel as a voracious need to read. And I feel like my next book, I'm going to pick something maybe more theory based or nonfiction, maybe a memoir. I'm kind of needing a break from fiction at large right now, which is an interesting feeling. I hate when people speed on my road. It actually drives me insane. I live on a pretty busy street, which is my fault for buying a house here, but like respect your neighbors, go the speed limit or else. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, I finished something new under the sun last night and I really had a conflicted reading experience. Very smart, weird intellectual book, but I don't think I had that expectation going in and it is structured with a lot of plot to be kind of a romp. So I was kind of left unsatisfied at the wrap up of it. But upon reading reviews and talking to my friend Jalen who read it, I gained a deeper understanding and more appreciation for what the book was doing and what the author is doing. I just didn't enjoy my reading experience of it, if that makes sense. I think I could have used a little bit of more context of who this author is, what this book was trying to do but it's an arc, so there's like very limited reviews and it's not fully circulating yet. Um, but it was interesting. It was like the perfect book club book, I said, because you will get something out of it. <laughs> you will have something to say, that is for sure. Yeah, kind of like a commentary on a lot of things at the same time. One being like Hollywood satire, um, detective noir, fan culture, climate apocalypse all at the same time <laughs> if that sounds chaotic it was it was very deeply multi-layered but like very readable 
and I think some of the writing was really strong. There's a section and like a little plot line about one of the main character's wife who goes to this kind of hippie commune grieving center where it's made up of a community of people who are all grieving for the earth's daily losses due to climate crisis and they like mourn together in this little eco-conscious community and just being in the interior mind of that character was so good read it read it it's so weird i i think it could have been shorter but also I don't, I've had, I have such a conflicted reading experience with this book. I think it was really good after I talked to someone about it, but when I finished it, I was like, that sucked. <laughs> so, super weird. I don't think I've really felt that way about a book before. I can't really think of one off the top of my head, but interesting, interesting. And what am I reading now? I'm finishing up Pop Song by Larissa Pham. It's a collection of essays. I'm not loving it. It's a little sentimental for me, to be honest. Because I'm dead inside. And it feels like, like if I was trying to write, ugh, this doesn't sound so critical of both myself and my generation, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If I myself was trying to write a collection of personal essays and took myself really seriously and was trying to make every lived experience I had like art and like mean something I feel like it would be this book <laughs> um it's really self-serious and I don't love that coming from someone my age for some reason I need to investigate that more like I can handle a earnest self-serious essay collection soul knit you know what i mean she's one of my faves uh she is not joking around <laughs> her voice is not wry or funny at all so why am i critical of someone my age of being that so self-serious i don't know it's like don't write essays about tumblr culture and seeking male approval But why do I think that? Am I being misogynistic? I need to investigate that more. So that's my reading update. I'm honestly over being blonde. I mean, it's kind of like pinky orange right now because of my weird pearlescent shampoo, but the freaking roots, annoying. I'm already annoyed, but it's too expensive to give up on it yet. <sighs> so it goes. Okay, bye sexies. Uh, I went to Trader Joe's and spent $30 just to feel something, and these are the treats I got. <laughs> Mini cones, hell yes. Gummies. Mini vegan bonbons. The individual package trail mix. Don't at me, environmental queens. It just is what it is. The best mango, dried mango from Trader Joe's. I love this. These new onion chips, which are literally just onion, like, petals. Sounds very weird. Olives and two cliff bars. <laughs> uh, no list, just vibes at Trader Joe's. Hey, vloggers, it's me, CJ, and I got book mail! Vloggers, 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 burr, 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 burr. vloggers. Look at this big box Look of Look at these penguins. chicken nuggets. Kiki, come on, now. look at this big box from Penguin. Oh! Oh! Look at this little jalapeno. Okay, it's a grocery haul too now, I guess. <laughs> grocery haul. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A pepper. Peppers. What could be? Taco seasoning. Oh my, Kiki. Come on. Spy, <laughs> get down. What's in the box? Oh, not, shit. I'll tell you what it's not. A cucumber. We got Lorna Moat Comes Home. Okay, okay. Excited, literary fiction. And Wayward, a novel. That's exciting. Wow. That was a big box. These are actually both by Knopf, I think. Yeah, these are by Knopf, which Penguin owns. Woo! Big box. Big box. Relish. Relish. Delicious. 
we went to. I got a shirt on. <laughs> it's got a worm on it. It's Where's awesome. Where's all my stuff I bought? Oh, we went to the mall because Kiki needed a new pair of Vans. We got this delicious cheese. <laughs> so chaotic. And I got the new Ilia concealer to match the skin tint I really like. And I got green peas. <laughs> And I also got, I think they'll love this. I can't wait to see what they say. They'll just love it. I got this little leopard print like shirt dress. How cute is that? It's so cute. It was real comf too. It's like, mm, 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 mm. Wow. Show them your final item. Uh, there's actually quite a few left, <laughs> but we love this Erdes salsa. Yeah, we do, it fucks. It's like, it's just really good. It's in a jar, which I love. We love collecting jars. I love a jar of salsa. Oh, I also wanted to let you know, I started reading the Copenhagen trilogy by this person. This is just the dust jacket. I take them off when I read. And I'm liking it so far. I got like 50 pages in. We're in the childhood phase still. And I think she writes about childhood with a really lonely, depressing perspective, which I like. So we're enjoying that. Like your childhood. <laughs> Where are we going? FedEx. Where are we going? To FedEx. Where are we going? To the moon, baby. We're going to Powell's and it was his idea! That's not. Yes, it was. Yes. Sorry, I put on lip gloss if you were wondering. Because my lip gloss is popping. We get to go to Pals, and I have a leftover gift card. Hello vlog. We're at a little bar in our neighborhood. Having a beer. First time here. We approve. Not sure it's gonna Wait, make it. Insane. Kiki's trying to find shorts, so if anyone has any short suggestions online for a man who likes short shorts. They're not that short. They're pretty short. Uh, let us know. Look how cute. Uh, we went to Powell's. Kiki got a book for tracing tattoos, and I got nothing, because I didn't know the new Deborah Levy wasn't out yet. But we're just vibing in the neighborhood. Yeah. Happy burger night to all who celebrate. Half fries, half tater tots. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. It's Sunday. We're gonna walk to the farmer's market. It's gonna be great. I'm in a cute little dress. With my cute little sneakers. You see them? I feel like an Animal Crossing character. Got a strawberry lemonade from the farmer's market and a veggie tamale. Mmm. Kiki got nothing. Not bad. That's really bad. Just got a lot of snacks. All right, this is the before. Damn. Snack. I mean, we barely have any snacks actually. Crackers. The, on chips. the only snacks we have is in this bucket. What about all those chips and crackers? That's not snacks. Oh. That's a meal company. I think it looks better. Got rid of a few things. Hi. About this flight of the We're gonna go get pie because my family is depressing me <laughs> and I need sugar to counteract it. And Kiki's gonna wash his car. We both get a treat. We both get a treat. <laughs> it's like a reward. I took a pill in a visa. I got pie. Sweet cream and fresh berry from Loretta Jeans over there. The cutest pie place around. Hello everyone, we're back from our pie errand. <laughs> we cleaned the house, it's great. And I'm gonna sign off the vlog. I just got finished editing it. It's great. Uh, 
I'm reading How to Pronounce Knife right now with the book hotties. We finally decided on a new book club pick and I got a copy of it already. I'm really liking it so far. It's a collection of short stories. I know in the last video I was like, I'm just not in the mood. Um, but an assigned reading forces you to be in the mood, am I right? Lots of, well, I've only read two stories so far. And a lot of them are dealing with race and like class dynamics so far. And the idea of beauty and immigrating to another country. I found both of them really compelling and like mysterious and talking about larger ideas at broad that interested me so i'm excited to keep reading that on my kindle i'm really into my kindle nowadays it's weird it's kind of concerning me as someone who wants to open a bookstore <laughs> i mean we know there's no replacement for a bookstore come on but it is a funny a funny vibe uh we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the day i might try to find a new video game to play i was talking to kiki earlier how i feel like i don't have any hobbies that aren't reading so reading or video games that's those are my options uh great we're gonna have lemon orzo tonight you already know what it is that's a classic albert's household treat and love and respect to all y'all out there dealing with family members who are anti-vaccination i feel you let me know if you have any tips <laughs> goodbye hope this was a great vlog See you later, vloggers.